What's up, y'all? Welcome to the stream today. This is day 321, make it Songbringer. And today I'm working on some sax. What's up, Pedro? Welcome, man, welcome. How's March going for you? <laughs> so I got some items already created for for carrying, basically you can carry more diamonds this way. Now I just gotta implement them. Lime Studios, what's up? Hard boiled. This month's theme is arena? Cool, what kind of arena game are you making? This one theme is taxes for me? Yeah, I gotta do taxes too. I only started mine, I gotta finish them. So yeah, I'm working on an item right now so you can carry more diamonds. These are sack items, there'll be three of them. There's level one is what your normal sack is. You can carry up to 255 diamonds. Sack two, you can carry more diamonds. And then sack three, you carry even more. You thought of bullfighting arena, but the player is the bull. Oh, cool. Dude, I like that, man. That's awesome. Oh, Pedro, that's so cool. It's such a great concept, man. All right, so I'm gonna draw some sacks. I said it, I'm gonna draw some sacks. I'm thinking of a sack kind of like this maybe, or that. That's pretty cool, I like this sack right here. Yeah, let's go with this one, this is awesome. Alex Pita, what's up, man? Yeah. Uh, all those sacks. Oh, yep. Uh huh. All right, so I'm gonna I'm gonna shrink this sack. I'm gonna shrink this sack down. It's gonna be a shrunken sack, and then. I'm gonna I'm gonna take this shrunken sack and see what it looks like in pixel art, so I can draw my own kind of similar to it. So basically, this is my reference image. It's my artistic reference imagery. What's your thought on the invite Trello command? Uh, was that something I was supposed to check out? There is that was that on Trello or something? If I I don't want to assume what that means. Yeah, I don't see it. Is it, uh, well, okay, I'm, I guess I'm just gonna assume that what you mean is a new command called invite Trello, and that, and I can, I can issue that command and it will send them the invite Trello link, that'd be great. Oh yeah, I, I wrote you last night, yeah, I wrote you back last night about that. But I don't remember getting another message. Yeah, I haven't got another message reply from that. Uh, but yeah, that sounds great. If 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 I understand what you mean, you're just talking about a command where you just type in invite Trello, you pass in a username, and it will send them a private link, so they get uh they can get on the Trello. That'd be great. That'd be so awesome. Yeah, I remember you writing back afterwards. I just don't remember it talking about an invite Trello command. So maybe I missed that, or maybe it maybe it didn't mark as it as a new message for me or something. I don't know. Okay, so let's shrink this sack. All right, so this is gonna need to be, um, let's make it about the size of this blink orb. Blink orb is kind of big in there, in there, so maybe a little smaller. So let's do 12 by 12. 
Put in cold water. <laughs> Zyger, what's up, man? All right, so if this were tiny, like 12 pixels tall, we got nearest neighbor. What? What? That's supposed to be constrained proportions. 12. That's tiny. And looks horrible. <laughs> that looks so horrible. Wow. What's up, Azarus? Yes, it does, Lime Studios. It actually already does sound better. It's I haven't even changed anything, but it sounds so much better on Windows. On Windows, it sounded kind of bad because it used to use MCI Player. And MCI Player would clip out some sounds. Like, for example, the when you're on the main menu and you held the up button, you could go do 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 And it would clip out those sounds so bad. I had to work around that by in, in doing two new sounds and then using one and then the other and then one and then the other. And using FMOD, it doesn't have to do that, and it sounds better. And also, it's all set up so I can actually use FMOD Studio to start making uh, music and stuff. And using events so that all of the audio in the game can be procedurally generated. So uh, what I'm going to do is add like an intensity factor and probably a, a, a nighttime versus daytime factor as well. So all of the music, all of the ambiences in the game will change as there's more enemies on the screen the intensity factor will increase and that will change the song that's currently playing. So there'll be infinite variations. I'm not sure if I should say infinite, but like there will be lots and lots of variations of the music. Um, I'm thinking even there could be like random melodies. So like I can write things in a, in a certain key or whatever, and then it can kind of randomize that melody within that key. Uh, so I really think they can, this can, do some really interesting stuff sonically. And um, actually when I was playing through Axiom Verge last year, man, I loved, it was one of my, was my favorite game of 2015 is Axiom Verge. And um, that's the, one, of the, one of the things I wished about Axiom Verge is first of all, that it was procedurally generated. I wish it was a different game the second time I played it. And also that I wish, I really wish there would have been procedural audio because um, I really got tired of the, the I loved, I, I loved, Axiom Verge emerges mu music. Everything about it, everything about Axiom Verge, I loved. But still, I got tired of hearing the same songs over and over and over and over. And it's a problem I almost always have in any game. I always, I always get tired of hearing the music repeat itself. So that's why I'm really excited about F Mod, so that Songbringer can have music that does not repeat itself. It's like brand new every time you hear it. Different melodies, different layers, and stuff. It's the living dead realms of guacamole. Yeah, once you hear a song a thousand times, right? Unless it's Motorhead. Yeah, for me, that's Tool. I love Tool so much that I could hear their songs forever and ever and not get tired of it. Whoa. Whoa. The sack zoomed in is so crazy. I didn't know it was that much pattern. Whoa, man. The oh, Azenris, I gave you your thousand points. Did you not have them? Did you not get them? You, I don't think you were on the stream, but I sent you your points. Yeah, what does it say? <laughs> yeah, you should have them. But if not, I'll give you more. Because I'm easy like that. Too easy. Okay, so this sack did not look that good when it was zoomed in. But what if it was a little bigger? So what if I went like, this is like 16 pixels tall.
Yep. We got a witness. Pedro witnessed it. We we notarized it. Okay, that's looking a little bit better. But hell, I want to draw my own anyway, so why am I even worried about this? Jeez, what am I even worried about? Okay, let's set this to be index color. And usually I go with like around seven colors. It's nice to... Yeah, see that? That takes out a little bit of the saturation. Maybe six colors. Five. No, seven. Okay, so something like that. Now I'm just going to place this in this image and draw my own, but better. I, I got to draw a better sack. <laughs> uh, it's on video too. We totally diff. We actually had this notarized. You trust us, really? I don't know if you should. Okay, so yeah, this old sack, gotta go. Draw a better sack. That sack was a little too saturated. Man, this is the best dream ever. I get to say sack like a bajillion times. Get a little outline going. <laughs> yeah, add that one to the quotes. Got to draw a better sack. <laughs> yeah, this stream is going to lead to about 90% of all your quotes. Just because we're drawing sacks. So there's going to be three sacks to draw. Wait, no. There's only two sacks to draw. There's this sack, and then there's a bigger sack. So there's like a small sack, a shrunken small sack, and then there's like a, a bigger but still shrunken and shriveled sack that, we, that it needs to be drawn. It just has to be drawn. This is this is today's today's duty. There's really there's really no joy in what I do today. It's all just duty. <laughs> I I am I'm definitely enjoying this too much. God damn. Gotta calm down. All right, so what's the what's the trick? What's the trick to drawing a good sack? Obviously, I've got got some texturing issues going on here. This is not really looking that great yet. We've got that color, this color, this slightly darker color, and we've got an even darker color than that. Oh, that, that doesn't look that bad. See, it's these middle colors here that, that needs some more, some love. Oops. Okay, so I want to draw with that color, but only like 20%. There we go. 
Ah, maybe this is the trick right here. All right. Wiki, how to draw a sack? No way. There's really. Do you want to learn how to draw a sack for your character? Draw a square. Add a semicircle. <laughs> nice. Um, let's get a little better. 20, am I at 20%? Yeah, 20% is looking pretty good. We're drawing some texture. Yes! So empowered. You can draw sex too. You don't even need to watch Bob Ross. Okay, compared to this shriveled sack over here, this sack is looking a lot better. All right, so let's call that sack one. And this is gonna be sack two. Got doubling up the sacks. Um, first of all, let's see how these are looking. Kappa Ross. Layer base slice there. That's the three. This is the two. Technically. Make a blue sack that hurts you? An enemy? Or it's just a sack that you pick up and boom, you hurt. Oh, wait, wait, there's three sacks. How many sacks are there? Oh, yeah, there's three sacks. Never mind. I gotta draw three of these. Okay, so there's the first one. The second one. This one is the first. This one's the second. Draw the third. How can one translate blue balls into a Zelda-like video game? It's a tough one. Ah, but not impossible, my friend. Not impossible. Frozen avocado, hello, man. <laughs> Color representing size. All right, so we should have sack, sack two, sack three. Great. Now I don't need to see these. I can export this. Oop, not render. There you go, depth, there.
All right, so instead of finding the, the item in the world, I'm just going to run it and give the player the item. Oh, wait, wait, did I do this right? Yeah, sack, sack two, sack three. Oh, right, yeah. Did I add it to strings? Yes. Okay, we got strings. Oh, wait, one last thing. We need this item sack. There we go. Oh, I guess there's already a sack two, sack three. Put those in. But this will be cool. This will be really neat to finally have the game so you can ha you can hold more diamonds. Are the sacks a secret to everybody? Yes. Okay, so I've run it once, which means it'll save. It should save my. No, maybe I just didn't. I maybe I needed to save it. Which sack contain more sacks inside? Isn't there a game which which does that, where you can have sacks inside of the sack or a bag inside of a bag? Definitely needs more Zelda beams. There we go. All right, so we've got one sack. Hey, it does kind of look like a sack. I probably should darken it a little bit though, overall. That's, a, that's not bad. That's not a bad sack right there. I'm proud of my sack I drew. I can draw sacks. No flash, go HTML5, sure. What's this big red button do? Clippy! Clippy, I've missed you! Let me, let me, what is this? Is this awesome or what? Press the button. Clippy. That's it? This is all there is? Oh yeah. Press the drama button. Press it over and over. Okay, so going back to the sacks. This first one was about the size of the middle one, I'm thinking. So, the original here, this one. Yeah, this one needs to be a little smaller. This one's medium, and then this one's gonna be big. Yeah, who else miss, miss Clippy, huh? It's like he's been gone for too long.
Alright, yeah, there's a small one. Alright, what if I had all of them? If you have all of them, I should probably make this so if you have the second level of it, it only shows the first level or whatever. Yeah, so the medium one is not looking medium enough. Alright, once again, we need a slightly smaller, small one. The small sack is not small enough. It needs to re be reduced in its size. It needs to be shrunken down, once again. Shrinking the sack. Shrink it down, man. Shrink it just a little bit more. It's the best stream ever. Hands down. Wait a minute, it didn't work. Did I forget to export it? I swear I just did this. Alright, good. It's packing that texture. I mean, it's not small enough. Ah, oh, this is so messed up. What's wrong with that? Uh, okay. Sheets, let's figure out what happened. Why did it not draw these correctly? Oh, it might have been. Could be that it's actually not aligned it right on the X, Y, so that the Y is a little... The Y could be 0 0.5 or multiple of that, and that could actually be causing it to not have a certain pixel. This is pixel art. It's got to be right on the right on the money with the, with the position. Let's check out how these got exported. All right, here we have this is the sack two, height of 12. Should be sack one, yep. Height of 11. Oh my God, I think it is, I think it's the problem. All right, so let's go to fluxes, phase, gear.
You wrote big sack on Google. Second result is man has surgery for 134 pound scrotum. What? I'm speechless. What? All right, so this is, yeah, this is a line in the middle. So if, if the sprite uh, get content size dot height, make that an integer, modded by two, if that equals one, then move it up, scooch it up. Scooch it up just a little. Position Y Sprite dot get position Y plus zero point five. Is that right? It doesn't feel right. You don't know how to convert to kilograms. <laughs> Totally worked. Wow. All right. Well, great. Now we have the properly sized sacks. Yay. We got the, the sack, the medium sack, and the large sack. Okay. Now, if the player has all three of those, it should only show one of them, which means. I think I need to change the constant order. Oh, Is that right? Do I need to do this? Yeah, it does do a loop over the item types that way. So yeah, it's probably easiest if I do this this way. Sack three first. So it's, as it's scanning them, it comes across sack three first, and then I can. Rearrange. You know what? Ah, this is. Ah. This feels wrong, but oh well. Oh well. Alright, so um, if we've. Let's do a bull if we've displayed the sack. <laughs> uh, did sack equals false. Tearaway unfolded, cool. 51 kilograms. All right, so if this item is a sag,
did sack true. So yeah, we should only display one sack, and it should be the biggest sack we have. Five seven, huh? You guys are the same height. Whoa! Your height, brothers. Height, brothers, for life. Unless either of you guys are still growing. You still growing, Lime, at age 20? I was still growing. I was still growing until I was like 30. I felt like I was. Maybe I wasn't. Tearaway, huh? Let me take it. Oh, Tearaway Unfolded. I saw a review of that um, from, yeah, from Extra Credits, and it looked great. It did look really awesome. Yeah, I should play that. Oh, we don't have any sacks. No sacks? What? What? Here. What happened here? What was what, wrong with this? One point eight five meters. You win. You win, man. You win. Congratulations! Alright, so that is the problem. What's wrong with his logic? Right, and if I do this, this should totally display the first sack. I don't understand. What's your prize? Your heart, your prize is the free parking. Oh, there, it worked this time. Dude, I, oh. I think it was Xcode. Must have been Xcode, didn't compile that file or something. All right, great, we got a large sack. Great, yes, 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 yes. And um, if we do not have the large sack, but we do have like a medium sack, we should just display the medium sack. Good. Let's say if we only have the first sack, what's the white dot in the inventory? You mean the light? Jib light? Yeah, that's uh, Jib's light gets stronger with that. And you get several of these. You get like up to three of them, and then Jib's light is pretty strong. Okay, what else should I test it even more? Let's say I just have one of those or something. Bloodstain Kickstarter update. Cool. Okay, so let's finish this up. All we gotta do now is make it so the player can hold more diamonds given however many sacks they have or which sacks they have. So, that's gonna be a gear component. It clamps 
the amount of diamonds you have And we already got a special function called get max and all right so if i equals k item diamond this is going to be depending on however many sacks we have this will change the max so if this count k item sack three, then max equals I think that third the third sack the biggest sack is gonna be nine nine nine. You have nine hundred ninety nine diamonds. Is that enough for you, hard boiled? Nine hundred ninety nine diamonds is that is that enough diamonds to have in Songbringer, or do you need to have more? Um, okay, so the sack two, maybe like, that's like four or 99 or so. I don't know, maybe maybe all these should be actually 10, maybe this should be 1024. That'd be pretty cool. Or 1023, 1023, this could be 511. And then the regular sack, if you have just that one, then you not you can do, well, you can already do 512, two, oh, hmm. That seems about right. A thousand. We already got two fifty-five though for the shoot. Maybe it should be five eleven. This should be seven sixty-seven, and that should be ten twenty-three. Yeah, that'll work. That's about an increase of two hundred fifty-five diamonds per sack. Okay. Now we need a place where we can test this out. It'd be best to do that inside one of the secret Z's where we have some stashes of diamonds. That'll just increase our diamond count really fast. Maybe like, I think these are negative 200 or so. Oh, these are actually being outputted. Let's see where these are at. Diamond stash. All right, so we got, oh, negative 103. That has a diamond stash. Let's go there. Negative 103. All right, so if you're tuning into the stream right now, what's new in Songbringer? I'm working on wallets. Well, not wallets, but sacks. So it, the larger your sack is, the more diamonds you could carry. And right now, um, the player has... What is this? The large sack, which means you can carry up to two hundred or one thousand twenty-three. You think those values are too high? Yeah, there's two fifty-five, five eleven, seven sixty-seven, ten twenty-three. You think those values are too high? How will the players get a sack? They're pretty rare. Whoa, Persona Four! You could get that much money. That should be the max. It didn't work. It did not work. So we... It gave us one diamond. What's up, baby? No, I'm streaming. Oh, okay. Okay. Hey, right, baby. See ya. All right, so why didn't it do that? Didn't allow the sack to work. Didn't carry more. Well, something in pick up items maybe. Are they purchasable? No, they are not purchasable. They're not mob drops. They're not. They're actually in the dungeons and the secrets. 
There's things you have to earn. In fact, this the third sack is going to be very like this. This third one was probably going to be rare, and the second one is going to be somewhat rare. The first one you will probably be able to find easily. Oh, really? If you bought everything in the game, you only need one million max. Oh. Yeah, hardball. They already are in secret rooms. Yeah, <laughs> that's kind of funny with that overkill on the, the total there. Maybe it's in pickup item. Oh, no, you don't get them in order. Hmm. Uh, I might have to redesign this. Uh, that's a really good point, Arboiled. Yeah, I got to change the way this works. All right, so it's going to have to be that you have an amount of sacks. Okay, right, yeah, let's change this right now. It's got to be fixed. Okay, so there's only one sack. And it just changes its description and its item image based on however many you have. All right, so in constants, let's take these two away. Super hot, what's that? All right, well, at least I don't have to do this jankiness with the did sack. But we need to change the image. So get item sprite frame name for item is going to depend on however many you have. Damn, it changes a lot. Okay, let's make this, let's make it this, we get this key beforehand. And then if it is a sack, it depends on the quantity. So else if for item k item sack, it's the displayable quantity. No, it's just the quantity. Yeah, if the quantity of sacks you have, so if you have one of these, it's the first one. But if you have two. Or three, it's different. All right, that'll do. And then, oh, also the text is changes. Pedro thinks the default sack should only carry 64 or 128. People would see a 100 or 150 item in the shop and would immediately know that there are bigger sacks that carry more diamonds. 
then you could double it. I don't know. That kind of breaks away from the tradition what what Zelda started with having 255 as your first total. Um, but I'll do a straw poll. I mean, I'm not a, I'm not against considering the options here. So let's do a straw poll. See what everybody thinks. So how many diamonds should you be able to carry? Initially. Well, I guess the answers are only 255 or less than 255. Because this could just be debated once you get once you get past this. Oh, my max keyframe interval is is whack. Oh man, I gotta change. I gotta fix that. Super hot, huh? What's that? Time moves only when you move. Hmm. Interesting look. I like this. What's up, Felix? All right, this also needs to change the item description. I think that is elsewhere though. Yeah, it's when it sets the selection. Where is it grabbing the text? Oh, here, parse text key, filter item type. Yeah, all right, so before we all do all this, so. Oh man, this needs to be, damn. This will now need a quantity.
I guess I should do this before. Yeah, before I even call parse text key. Yeah. All right. So here's item. All right, so yeah, if item equals k item sack quantity I don't have hero here. Hero zero gear count quantity oh there's no oh there's no extra item for this oh I just want to change the it the image and the all oh, and the text I guess I just need to pass a quantity into parse text key. Pedro's bullying again. We need more mods. T55 won big time. That's right. Yay, I'm glad it did. Dang, by a long shot. Very nice. I totally agreed. I thought 255 was uh was the way to go there. All right, great. That's that's settled. Straw poll. 255 won it. Okay, every instance of parse text key now needs a quantity. Good, we already have the hero. And that one. Pass in the quantity there. So let's go auto key. Ah. I think that is string key actually. Well, what does this return? Get text key. All right. If item equals k item sack. If Quantity equals two, key equals I could just do key plus equals two.
There. All right. Felt felt wrong to do it that way, but I guess this is the right way. All right. So we need to pass in quantity. This is phase item. This is one where we already have the quantity, or already have the hero. So it's going to be e dot gear dot count k item. Oh, just item. All right, so if you're just zooming it, uh, tuning in, this is uh, working on the player having these diamond sacks where you can hold more diamonds. It's already five o'clock, huh? We got dinner coming up soon. Q equals three, two, and this is Q equals one. Up dog. <laughs> Up dog command. That's so funny. It's funny to me because I love yoga. I do yoga every day. What's up, baby? By the wizard, I can vouch for Lisa too on extra credits. Yeah. All right. You didn't even know it was a yoga position? <laughs> That's great. All right, the game's fixed. Now, if you, doesn't matter what order you get the sacks in, you always start with the small sack. Hopefully, let's see if that worked. So wait, what, what does the player have? The player has, oh, we need to change this. The player has one sack. Let's see what that, that turns out to be. Yay, we got a small sack. All right, now we've got two sacks. Yeah, we got a medium sack and the right text. Oh, that's great. And it would probably be the right text if we picked it up as well. Oh, where in the world does it put those? Let's go somewhere where it has a sack. There's one in the dungeon, one in another dungeon. But here, this is a secret one, negative 102. It has a sack, wow. Great, okay, so what do I have already? No sacks. Wow, that light is really bright. Can't even see it. 
Man, I can't even see that. Let's turn that down. Okay, that's because it's pure white. Let's do this darker color. Secret. It's still a little bright, huh? Why is it so bright? Let's get the darkest color we can. Oh yeah, that helped a little. Wait, it's still really bright when it's when the light shines on it. Oh well. Sack increases the amount of diamonds that can be carried. I guess that we, I guess these text items should actually say what they are too. So strings and. Two five eleven to seven hundred sixty seven to ten twenty three. All right, let's see that again. Lime Studios, what a key! Yeah, congratulations, man! You had a thirty percent chance to win, and you won. That's awesome. All right, Lime, so all you gotta do is email me after the stream, or right now, whatever. Email me whenever you want. I'll answer after the stream, but I'm, a, I'm not at WizardFoo. I think you might, might already have this, but whatever. Not at WizardFoo.com, just email me and you'll get your free Steam key. Congratulations once again. All you need to do is press that red button. What's the free parking? It's like a random give out of points. It's bot, it's bot food. It's not anybody's control. It's bot food randomly decides to give points to somebody that's watching. Great. Sack. Increases the amount of diamonds that can be carried to 511. If the player already has a sack, they're not going to be able to get the other ones. Shazzle. Oh my god, this is so... Oh, what? How do I do this? It's like I did it right the first time, but we had that problem before of the ordering. Man, I didn't think this would be this hard. I thought this would be like a five minute thing. All right, so if I save and run the game again, I should not be able to pick up this. Oh, I can. Why is that? Hold on. 
Oh, because it didn't save? That's even worse. Why did it didn't even save? You're the points master! Azarus is the points master! How close? What's the points? Steve Trampy has 10,000 points! Whoa! How did that happen? Wow. Broken! So if you, this also would, would prevent the jib lights from working too. Jib lights work with the quantity. You can pick up one, you can pick up another, pick up a third. Which means they probably do need to be separate items. Which is make me undo all these changes. Yeah, there's no way to get around it. You have to have they have to be separate items for this to work right. All right, let's 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 work on the other part of this this issue, which is allowing the player to actually hold more diamonds. Um, and then I'll get back to the figuring out how to make it do the right quantity. So anyways, let's see. Let's player. Let's say the player has one extra sack. That means that the player should be able to hold 511 diamonds and yeah, that's it. Oh, Steve Trammy gave himself 10,000 points. Well, that's probably fair. He's been watching the stream for so long. All right, so instead of being in this room, let's go back to that room with the diamonds and pick up diamond. Oh, here it is, Diamond Sash. All right, let's see what's, what, why didn't this clamp work? Let's figure it out. My thoughts on Leap Motion plus Oculus Rift. Which I've I've heard I've seen all of the new VRs, but what's this what's this? Is this the hand tool or whatever? Leap motion makes you your hands work. Okay, why is this not working? This gives the player that quant that item. Quantity is 160. That's how many diamonds should be added here. Has K item diamond plus equals quantity.
You think you're going to see a huge flop in VR? What is VR going directly to the brain already, <laughs> right? <laughs> yeah, Lime Studios, no, it's totally okay. If you want to give away codes for your game on this stream, totally. Or whisper them, whatever you want to do. Clamp, all right. This is item type one, which is what? Life. This is item type two. Diamond, here we are. All right, so it second is all the data for this. Diamond, item diamond, min, max. All right, so that's going to return to, why did it return zero? Oh, min is zero, yeah, max. Okay, here's the special part, get max. Max equals 255, if I is K okay, bomb, if diamond. All right, count the sacks. We have one of them. Max is 511. Return should return 511. Okay, maybe it just didn't work before and now it works. Once the tech finally gets cheap enough for a lot of people to buy, I think people will be really disappointed with it. It could be, could be. What's up, caviar? <laughs> Some, some other issues. So apparently it... I wonder if it clamped... Oh, wait, wait. Let's let it do that. Save the game. See if it actually changes the amount of diamonds you have. Maybe it's just clamped them on the... On the, uh, the HUD. Well, that sucks. It didn't save. Crash on exit. Oh yeah, it did work. Yeah, okay, so it's not the it's not that. It's something else. Why does the Vita cost more to develop for? Oh, to invest in, I I hear you on that, but why is it cost more to develop. Isn't it the exact same um, API as the, P the PlayStation? Yeah, right. A lot of that's a big risk to take, right? To, to even pay for one of those. Okay, so in game scene, maybe it's just game scene. Where like called set diamonds or something? What's that? Yeah, set diamonds. Oh, it needs to use the gear. All right, all right. So heroes. Zero zero dot gear dot max get max get item max get max k item diamond you predict it will succeed solely because people will want to succeed it so bad and they'll find a way to make it work we'll see like yeah there's there's like totally different 
Kind of right. There's lots of levels of success in this whole. Step what? It didn't work again. Did it clamp differently? Uh, it might have clamped when we loaded. Let's see. Game. It's in load game. Wow, there's no clamp? There's no clamp at all in load game. Oh, whoa, 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 that's weird. Really, this should be like... Pretty sure it should be like this. Hey, good night, high bold, see man. Oh, it costs more because it's handhold. Uh, handheld. You need to have the budget of a console game, but have the profit margin of a handheld game. Ha, oh, good point. All right, but I'm gonna comment this out first. The last thing is where it calls set diamonds from here. What's wrong with this? We have we have the diamonds in the save game, 414. All right, so how many sacks? They're all, oh, what? It does not mark that there are any sacks to be, oh, and it didn't, what? Why is this zero? What? Why does it keep resetting those? Oh, cause you, oh, cause it clamped, no wonder. So you should have three of these, maximum, duh. Oh, there we go, now it works. Okay, so I'll set the sack to zero now. All right, I clamped my diamonds to 255. Mm -hmm. It looks like I did not need that code.
All right, let's see if we have one. Okay, I'm going to take away the diamond stash. Captain at five eleven. Save, reload. All right. Let's say we have. Closer to like, let's say we have four hundred ninety-nine. Okay, that works. The player will have known that they have a maximum of five hundred eleven. They can look at their inventory and see. So we capped it at 511. That's great. All right, so let's test out some higher numbers. First of all, I'll start with 700, and it should just automatically ca cap this at 255. It didn't. Oh yeah, no, 5.11, that's right. If I start with a zero. You know what? I wonder if this is even accurate. Oh, no, it did not clamp. Okay, so we did need to clamp when we load. And this would probably be better if it were just a general clamp. So this is, well, I guess we could save this one. This is what that, oh, that, just, that doesn't really help though. Let's make this like super high. There's some super maximum value. So now it will accurately show how many diamonds a player actually has. And if it will show any bugs, a lot clearer. So if I have any bugs in how it clamps the diamonds or whatever, it'll, it'll reveal that fact on the HUD. Good. Okay, clamp to 255 that time. But if I had if I had additional, now to clamp to 2511. We have 700, let's see if we get this. We hit our other max, 767. 
Mm -hmm. And we do have a medium one. Okay, so what if we have like 999? We should clamp that. And then we'll give it a third sack and... Yeah, it clamped it. Okay, it's the third one. All right, last step in this this whole shebang is to make it so the player um, there's three individual sack items and the player oh I'm gonna have to retest everything oh well all right all right let's just do this got to re I can't believe I did this once the right way and now I'm redoing it. I did it the wrong way and I got to redo it the right way. But that's how code goes sometimes. So once again, we need three kinds of sacks. I think the this just should totally depend on how many the player has. So it really shouldn't matter what order they're in. If you have one of these, it will Only display the first one, and it will count your quantity. Okay, so we need a we need a, a function that counts that gets the quantity of uh, and we need the is is sack number. And uh, gear component. Count sacks. All right, so let's implement all these methods. And, and we need a number of sacks. Okay, num sack types. So this is going to be k item sack plus i. So looping over the number of sack types, counting up the current one, which is plus zero base, which will be zero, two, and three. That should be right. Counts them all up. OK, and then the last method is going to be in constants.
and this is going to be is sac. So Sack plus k num sack types minus one. Max is so the max is sack plus three, which would be one over minus one. It's two sack plus zero one two. Yeah, those are all correct. And this is greater than or equal to k item sack and less than or equal to max is sack. Okay, we got all these methods done. All right, caviar. See you, man. I'm going to we're going to dinner soon ourselves, so I mean man, I'm hungry. I'm so hungry right now. Okay, waiting for this to process, it's index, recompile, and we gotta refactor all the code to make it work this way. God damn, this 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 particular item took way too long because I implemented it wrong right the first time, wrong the second time, third time. I'm kind of mixing the two techniques together. What's up, Paul Six? And this time, no sack jokes. <laughs> What's up? Why aren't there any? Okay, so we've got all these methods now. Okay, so we need to clamp the maximum inside get max. All right, so if it's diamond, we're going to count sacks. This count sacks. Okay, that wasn't that hard. If, Q, if quantity is three, 10, I was thinking about doing this mathematically, like, okay, take the current max, 255, add one, multiply it by the quantity, subtract one to get this number. But I don't think that's a good idea because I'm hard coding it anyways inside, um, not hard coding it particularly, but like, um, you know, putting it in here at like this, it actually puts the quantity inside the text. So I think it's okay to keep it like that. Okay, that, that works. The next thing would be to make it so in uh, phase gear where it, it gets it and stuff, we need to draw these correctly. If it's the item sack, we're gonna count the number. Yeah, so first of all, we're gonna skip. We're gonna go K i equals k item sack plus k num sack types so it's going to skip after this <laughs> what's up boogie 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 howdy man All right, and um, we need to change the image. Okay, we don't need to worry, get, worry about changing the image anymore. So here we're gonna change the item based on the quantity, so So where's our gear?
So yeah, if it's Q2, this item becomes K item SAC2. And if it's quantity or Q3, we've got the third SAC. Which should also change the text. All right, and there's there's one more instance at the bottom of this where it changes. Yeah, it gets some different text. I don't know. Let's we'll see how we're how we're doing so far. Scatter. <laughs> no, I don't want it. <laughs> Five eleven. Hey, all right. Did that, did that actually work? Don't tell me that it actually worked. All right, so I gotta make sure all this code's working and then retest everything. But that'll be it. That'll be all for this. I gotta save the game. This should have clamped the diamonds and changed the amount of sacks. Yeah, so we've got one sack, 511 diamonds. Let's say we have two sacks. Let's see if this works. Whoops, we don't want sack two, two, we want sack two, one. Alright, yeah, so that broke. It, it might have it might not have broken completely. Oh it did. It did completely break that. So I should I have two sacks, but now I'm back down to 255 diamonds max. Something really broke there. Alright, well let's start figuring this out. Um First place to star is going to be a gear component. Get max based on diamond. Set a breakpoint there. Wait, wait for it to count up its sacks. Figure out what's up with the quantity. Q, count sacks. So it doesn't have the first sack? All right, this one should be right. What's up with red zero? Hmm, it looks like it's a more fundamental problem than I was imagining. So what's up? Why isn't it allowing it to even We've got sack, sack two, sack three. They're both zero to one, zero to one, zero to one. Sack, sack two, sack three. Couldn't reserve space for Sigwin's heap? What is that supposed to mean? None of memory, none of hard drive. <laughs> Azenritz, thank you. Thank you for that clarification, man. Uh, 
What the hell? It could be clamping them wrong. All right, let's go to load game. So let's do a little log saving that prints out all the quantities. When in doubt, printf. You know what? This could be an Xcode bug again. I swear, I've had so many problems with Xcode not compiling a CPP file. I'll have to go back in and then like resave a file and then recompile and then it freaking figures out that it needs to recompile that file. I don't, I don't understand what it is, but. Xcode. Oh, wait. This is calling clamp before it's even. Wait, what? Oh. Okay, okay. Let's just exit out of clamp. Okay, what do we get? Sax. 110. 110. Oh. It's like the worst result because now I don't even know. So well, oh, okay, well, now we've confirmed that the quantities are correct. Source tree is good. Even for cookie breakfast. Yeah, source tree is great. I use source tree. I use git mostly, but in the command line. But I use source tree for visually checking things. You know, I'll get in. I'll be like, um, you know, what changed? I'll, I especially like to look at the branches because I'll branch into fun branch and then like make some other checks and branches and stuff. So it's really helpful to see your branches but usually I'm on the same branch so there's a couple points where I, I branched off and made some changes and stuff but it's really nice to see visually you know rather than in just get command line okay something's wrong here count sacks return zero what's wrong with this method hey let's let's do that Oh, greater than one. <laughs> Figured it out. Okay, there we go. Now everything should work. Everything should now work forever and ever. There should be no more bugs in the game because that one bug is fixed. Okay. All right, so got to get going. We got to go get to dinner and stuff tonight. Um, fairly close to seeing. Let's see. Let's see what happens with this. I'll run one more time. Okay, this method. Turn by you too. Thank God, it finally worked. Yes. All right, so we have the medium sack. It means we can hold 767 diamonds. If clamp them correctly, if I get this, no more diamonds. All right, great. If I do, if I have the third, the final sack, the third sack, the triple sack. Triple sack, it's kind of like triple sack. It's a liqueur. Okay, so that means I have the large one. Good. Um... 
And if I get this, it should clamp it at 1023. Good. I think it's, it said the right quantity on there. Yeah, good. Okay. And let's say, let's see if, let's say we got these out of order. So we don't have the first one, but we do have the second two. It should still show us a medium and 767 total. I know, right? God, I'm sorry about that, Azenris. Ah, oh, I broke. Okay, so we need we need that to work right. Okay, so I'm gonna go to dinner, have a good dinner, and stop saying the word sack. <laughs> and uh, but I need to fix this up later. I need to fix these last remaining bugs. Check in this code, and um, and then but that'll be that. So the player will finally be able to carry more diamonds. Tomorrow's update's coming out tomorrow <laughs> to Steam. There is an update coming to Songbringer tomorrow on Steam, basically. And, yep, yeah, tomorrow I'll probably do... I'm not sure if I'll do a playthrough tomorrow or whatever. But anyways, tomorrow night, my time, there'll be an update made to Steam. And that's it. I got a lot of bugs left to fix in this, this version. So this is about all I can do is for creatively. This is one last little item I wanted to do with these diamonds. So... Good night, everybody. Have a good one.